CKM family. We miss you guys and look so forward to seeing you guys soon. Um, just to let you know, we will be back out this Thursday night from 6 to 7 on the sidewalk like we did last week, giving out goodie bags. This week will be your craft and your lesson for the week. And um, we will have some activities uh, written out for you guys to do as a family on that. Remember, this month is about putting others first. Let's remind ourselves that not being first is not always fun, but making others feel important is more important than being first yourself. Our word in the app, in the Life app, is about humility. Putting others first by giving up what you think you deserve. Yep. And today's Bible story is all about how Jesus um, came to earth um, and became a servant and he um, put us first. And um, I'm not going to go over the memory verse this time because our whole Bible story comes from Philippians 2 verses 3 through 8. And so we're going to go straight to the so-and-so show because they're going to go over your memory verse for you. Of all the wonderful things he could have... Hey, why did you get me a present, which is something I'm sure I'm going to like? Because you keep doing things to deserve it. That's the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. Oh, yeah? Well, there's more where that came from. You're funny. Oh, thank you. You're nice. I appreciate and that. And you are a good person. So uh, are you! I know you really mean that. You're always here by my side, and I never get sick of you. I'm so glad to hear it. Read my lips. You're the nicest friend a guy could have. You know what? Ooh. You know what? Just open that. Open it. I want to see the look on your face. Okay, yourself. I will. Open it. Oh, 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 you got me a new game system before you bought yourself one. That's so touching. I'm so glad you like it. You want to play it? I would love to. Oh. This is awesome. I know! Hello, all you beautiful people out there. I'm John. And I'm Brandon. And you're watching The, the So-and-So so -and -so Show. I don't know if you folks out there know this, but John and I each take turns deciding what we want to do on the show each week. Yeah, yeah. Every other week, I plan stuff. And every other... Every other week, Brandon plans stuff. Right, and this week is my, my week. week. Boo -doo 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 -doo. And today I have planned a show that's all about diving deep into a soul. Oh, that's great. But, a show about discovering life-changing truths. Yeah, again. But, but first, let's play a meaningless game. What? Meaningless game. Yes. John, you can't do a meaningless game because this week. Oh, okay, is okay fine, fine. Then it's time for a meaningful game. Okay, let's play your game. I'm sure it'll be great. Why, thank you, friend. You know what? I'll say the same thing when it's your turn to play a game next week. Actually, now that you mentioned Let's go play! All right, what's this meaningful game? It's a game called Flip It! Flip It! <laughs> How many times are we going to do that? How many times? As many as John wants! As many as I want! I'm sorry I asked. No problem! Let's play. Okay, great. Underneath each of these cloths is an item that has been flipped up a side of down. Mm. All you have to do is identify what it is. Oh, am I the only one playing? Yep. Why? Because it's my day to make the show, and what I says uh, is. Oh, 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 don't want you cheating either, so blindfold right. on. Boom. I'm not going to cheat. I'm gonna close my you're eyes. not going to cheat? Okay. Okay. Here is your first item. What is that? <laughs> it's like an octopus tentacle. <laughs> oh wait, no, I know what it is. Is it a bath mat? Uh, yes! Yeah, Very right. good, great job! On okay. to our next one! On to our next one. All I right, really don't want to do this. No, 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 it's my day. I you know it. Play. It's it's fine. Okay, I'm, I'm doing blah, 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 blah. it. Here we go. Right there. Gross. Is this gonna make me sick, touching it? Mm -hmm. What are you doing? I don't know what it is. It's like a, like an elephant eye or I don't something. No, that'd be gross. Yeah, but that would be really cool, though. Oh, it's kinda, oh. Is it like a mushroom? 
Oh, yes! Absolutely, you got it! Good job! All Stock right! Been cut off. Okay, one more, one, one more, more, one okay, more. Okay. All right, I'm gonna bring it over here. All right, all right. Are you ready for this? Keep doing yeah, no, 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 Sure, sure. If you want. Cool. <laughs> Is that pineapple upside down cake? Oh, wrong! It's an upside down pineapple upside down cake. <laughs> or maybe we should call it maybe we should call it a pineapple right side up cake. <laughs> Game over. Hey, uh, I'm getting the feeling that you're a little grumpy. No, I'm not. I just. Don't understand how that game was supposed to be meaningful. Okay, well, I wouldn't be this grumpy if it were your week to plan stuff. So. Yeah, about that. It's not actually. Oh, hey, hey, I almost forgot. It's Bible Story Time with Kellen. What's up, my friends? How's it going? Couldn't be better, Kellen. Although, just between the two of us, Brandon is a little grumpy. It's not between the two of you if I can hear you. See what I mean? I can still hear you. I'm sorry, did you say something? Hey, Kellen, what do you got for us today? An app. Oh, like for our phones? Yup, and it's called Humble Pie. That never gets old. No? Hmm. This app is gonna help me tell today's Bible story along with you guys. You want us to download the app? If you would. Hmm. Oh, done. Okay. Yeah, but you, almost, you good? Almost got it. Just got a loading. Got it. Okay, open them up and watch what happens. Okay. Wow, this is really cool, Kellen. Hey, I can see Brandon. Hey, Brandon. It's like you're sitting next to me. <laughs> yeah. How do we play, Kellen? Actually, before we play, check this out. Excuse me, gents. The Apostle Paul wrote a bunch of letters in what we call the Book of Philippians. Paul wrote this. Don't do anything only to get ahead. Instead, be humble. Value others more than yourselves. As you deal with one another, you should think and act as Jesus did. And how did Jesus act? Let's continue. Babu! In his very nature, he was God. But Jesus didn't take advantage of that fact. Instead, he made himself nothing. He did this by taking on the nature of a servant. He was humble and obeyed God completely. He did this even though it led to his death. Even worse, he died on the cross. Are you still there, fellas? Yep. You betcha. Why do I look like a bunny rabbit? You have a filter on. I have a what? Yeah, you have filter? a filter on here, right here. Huh. All right. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> Continue, Kellen. Great. Here's how you play. For each scenario I give you, you have to decide if you're going to put yourself first or if you're going to be humble. Simple, right? Sure, but I, I don't think either of us will pick what's selfish. <laughs> mm. Good point. Maybe one of you should volunteer as the non-humble player. Sure, I'll help you out, Kellen. Oh. Perfect. All right, here we go. First scenario. You're running late for work. On your way, you see a lady drop her groceries. Do you stop to help her? Yes. I'll say no. Humble pie! Hmm? <laughs> what happened? Where did that pie come from? Uh. <sighs> I forgot to mention in this app, it involves virtual reality. Virtual? Look at my face! Is it, wait, is this a filter? No! Second scenario. You had plans to see the new superhero movie, but a friend needs your help instead. Do you help him? Yes. How about you? No. Humble pie! Come on! 
Hey, you got to eat the humble pie when you don't put others first, Brando. True. Although, I must say he's being pretty humble already. How's that? Well, he's letting himself get hit in the face with a pie when you know it's his week. Uh, what are you talking about? Well, this is his week to plan the show, right? No. Wait. No? Are you sure? Is that true? Yeah. Uh, why didn't you say something to me? If you would have said something, I would have listened. Well, I tried, but every time... Are we going to finish this game or what? Um, I mean... Well... Third scenario. Okay. Go ahead. You want to watch soccer on TV, but your little sister really wants to watch cartoons. Do you let her watch? Yes. Say no. Say no. Fine. No. Humble pie! <laughs> that was awesome. Mm. Yeah. Thanks, John. No, yeah. that's not bad. Well, I'm not sure who won the game, but I think the point's the same. Jesus put people first. He gave his life for us. We should do our best to think and act like Jesus did. Even if that means every once in a while giving up what we want or what we think we deserve. And even if it means taking the occasional pie to the face. Back to you guys. Thanks, Kellen. Yeah, thanks, man. Anytime. I'll see you guys around. Bye, man. You know, these towels never fail. I know. And they don't stain. <laughs> so... So... Dude, I can't believe you just gave up a show that was rightfully yours and just let me ramble on like that. Yeah. You would never use so many graphics. Never. Never! Well, maybe just one more. What? Reveal the question! What keeps you from putting others first? Well, you could be easily distracted like, has that mannequin always been over there? Talk about it with each other. What keeps you from putting others first? Oh, I mean, I, I, I feel so bad. Don't beat all. yourself up. Hey, maybe you can make it up to me by letting me plan the next two shows in a row. Deal! <laughs> Thank you. Until next time, I'm Brandon. And I think that mannequin is getting closer. And we'll see you next time on The So-and-So Show. They um they definitely showed us um some funny ways that we can uh experience life and also um put other people first. Yes. So their key question was, what keeps you from putting others first? So um Miss Missy and I were discussing earlier about things right now that like mm -hmm. are preventing us from keeping um people first and also um maybe things that we're thinking or um What's the word? Um, that kind of like our little voice inside that's like convincing us to not put people first. So um, we were thinking like we might want to get a gift for somebody, but we can't because we can't go anywhere. So make a card, um, write a letter, mail it to a, um, to a friend or to a family member or to someone who that you wish you could go see so that you can get a little bit more personal with them. Um, do some extra chores for mom um, around the house. Uh, make a dessert or make a treat and share it with someone, um, whether it's somebody in your family or a neighbor or something like that. Um, maybe go outside and enjoy God's creations and find a flower and give that as a gift instead. Um, so those are just some suggestions of ways that you can right now in the life that we're living right now, um, how things are so upside down, but we can still be putting other people first. Also, um, you'll see some of those things as well as some other activities and some other things um, we're going to put in those bags that Miss Missy was talking about that you can come by and pick up Thursday um, between 6 and 7. And um, Miss Missy has one of the um, activities that's going to be in there. Um, she put a little sample together for you guys. Um, 
And then there's also going to be um, a, it's kind of a memory game. And we'll have the directions and everything in there for you. You play with a partner and you do a design and then you try and memorize each other's um, uh, design. But the purpose of that is to remind us to pay attention, mm -hmm. um, to pay attention, pay attention for opportunities to put somebody first, mm -hmm. pay attention to what Jesus did to put us first. And so um, that's just kind of what we had um, that we want to share with you guys um, today in the video and also in those bags that are coming up. So um, if there's anything else, not yet. Go just ahead remember, pay attention as she was saying, um, check on your neighbors. Even if you don't have opportunities to make something for them or do something for them, just go by and check on them and make sure they're okay. Um, maybe your parents can help you get something if they need it. Um, I have an elderly neighbor that I've been making sure he has everything he needs, so he doesn't go to the grocery. But there's all kinds of ways that you can check on them and make sure everybody's doing okay. So I'm going to go ahead and pray with us, and then we're going to talk about our challenge with Miss Melissa here in a few minutes. Generally, Father, Lord, I just thank you for this season that we're in. Lord, I know that it's been challenging. I know that our world is turned upside down. I know that life has been a little bit um, hard and difficult. But Lord, during this time, you have given us ways to help others. You have given us ways to bless others. You have made um, media um, to our benefits, Lord. And we pray that as all of our CKM family and all over the world, Lord, that everybody comes closer to you, draws closer to you, and has a better relationship and an understanding of who you are in our lives. Lord, we thank you for the opportunities you've been given to us. I thank you for keeping us well and safe, and I pray for all those that are sick, Lord, that you would heal them during this time. But Lord, I just thank you most of all that you're a good God to us and that you're taking care of us. In Jesus' name, amen. Ms. Melissa, let's talk about our challenge this week. It's All kind right, of fun. So, yeah, I think it's going to be kind of fun. Um, so the challenge this week is going to be um, inside out instead of upside down, but that's the whole concept. So you're going to take as many shirts as you can, turn them inside out, and you're going to put them on. And you're going to take a picture and you're going to post the picture. So if it's just you, then you would say how many, like in your post, make sure to tell us how many shirts are in the picture. If it's the whole family, add up how many shirts they have all have on. And whoever gets the most shirts in their picture will be the winner. Yes. So, um, and we'll probably do that next Monday, right? Yes. 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 We'll keep So you'll that. have, you'll have till Sunday night to get that done and posted. And don't forget to hashtag CKM challenge. And remember, post the pictures. That's how we're picking winners and we're um, still mailing out gift cards to you guys. You guys have a great week and be blessed. Oh,